programmers accustomed to doing things properly will naturally look for functions that close a database connection and free the resources used by a connection or a query. We used MySQL free result in the past simply to illustrate that it exists, but it's now redundant because PHP now does these things automatically when a script opening the database or querying the database terminates. We've already used a number of these functions and I refer you to the PHP manual on the MySQL page to see that there are more MySQL specific functions within the PHP framework. Two very useful ones, MySQL affected rows, which tells you the number of affected rows in a select, an insert or a delete SQL statement, or MySQL num rows, which does the same thing but only for select statements. And MySQL insert ID gives you the value of an auto increment ID of a record that's just been added. Frequently, we need to cycle through the rows of a query, so knowing the number of rows is necessary. We could do this with another query, a count rows query, but that involves another hit on the database. And anyway, we get the number without any further coding by using the PHP function affected rows or MySQL rows. We also frequently insert records into a database. And the only way to find the MySQL insert ID, or that is the auto incremented ID of a record, is to re-query the table using some of the other fields to match up and find the ID. But we can get this very quickly by immediately running the MySQL query, MySQL insert ID, which is a PHP function, straight after we've done the insert. And this returns the auto increment value. If we now look back at our include file user insert, we see that it reports this new user message. So when we insert a record, create a new user, say test8 with password test8 and email test at tmit.com as a registered user and save that, it tells us that user test8 was successfully inserted with ID number 12. Well, let's look where that came from. It comes from the function in the file fntusersql, which did an insert into tuser, and then straight away after it ran that query on the database, it added MySQL insert ID to the return message for a successful return message. It also added MySQL error to the return message, which is incorporated by formatting the error message into an error message. So perhaps we should look at that as well. Let's create a new user and put in test single quote nine single quote password test nine validate test nine registered user and try to save that and we get failed to add new user you have an error in your SQL syntax. It's telling us we can't put a single quote into our username. And we probably should have code in the file fntusersql to ensure that that doesn't happen in the error checking part of that file. But for the time being, we can see that this is an error that's reported not by the system, but by our code because it's in the format of our data error reporting function, which is bright red. So creating users reports errors that use two of our new MySQL functions within PHP. They're actually PHP functions that deal with MySQL databases. That's data error and MySQL insert ID. And the data error generates an error from the PHP function MySQL error.